Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets OBS or Discord tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Discord to OBS Studio. So following the steps in this tutorial will give you the ability to not only add voice chat from Discord to your OBS, but you can also add text channels, things like that. So you can have both the text chat from a Discord server and voice chat from a Discord server added to OBS. So then you can stream live or whatever you want to do. All right, so it's actually very easy, and Discord already has a tool built for this. It's called StreamKit. So I'll have a direct link to it, but you can also just go to streamkit.discord.com slash overlay. Once you get here, we need to download and install StreamKit. Now, they have two options for OBS and then XSplit. This tutorial is for OBS, so we're going to select Install for OBS. And the first thing that will happen, if you have Discord installed on your computer, it'll ask you to give the StreamKit overlay access to your account. So as you can see, it does have some access to read your messages and interface with your Discord client. So we're going to select Authorize, and then you can go back to your browser. So now that we've granted access, we need to build the widget that'll be added to OBS. So as you can see, you can do a status widget, which will just show that you're online. You can do a chat widget, which will add the chat from a text channel on your server to OBS, and then a voice widget, which will add the voice chat from one of your servers to OBS. So you can add that, it'll come up like this. And as you can see, I'm talking and that's what it will look like. So basically you need to select what you wanna do and configure it accordingly. Once you've selected the type of widget, you'll have to go through the appearance for that. So they have text size, outline, background color, things like that. You can make it very see-through if you want to, to make it fit your desired look on your actual stream. So in the voice widget, it's a little different. You have the ability to show users only when they're talking. So if I stop talking, You'll see it disappears right there. You can also do small avatars or hide the name and just show the avatar. So there's tons of options there. And then also you can change the background color and the text, all that kind of stuff. Now you can only add one of these widgets at a time. So if you're adding multiple, you have to repeat the steps to do that. Once you finish configuring one of the widgets, I'm gonna do it with the chat widget here. All you need to do is go down here, copy the URL, then go to OBS, and we will have to add a source by selecting the plus button under sources and go to browser. Now, if you don't have browser, check the description. I have a tutorial that'll help you fix that. So select browser, go ahead and create a new one. You can name it. And then with this URL right here, go ahead and paste the URL that we copied in there. So now as you can see, you can see the text from that actual channel on my Discord server. If I type something, it'll show up very quickly on OBS as well. So you would just repeat the same steps if you're doing a voice widget or a status widget to add Discord to your OBS Studio. So that's how you add Discord text chat and voice chat to OBS Studio using Discord Stream Kit. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Discord or OBS Studio tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.